video was long and overdue. Today is the day everyone can finally be in Anaya's goddamn business. Let's get into it. Hey ACR fam, welcome back to my channel. today's video, I will be doing a spicy truth or drink. So I had one on both of my Instagram stories and asked you guys to ask me some of the most spiciest truth or drink questions and I had a little twist in it. It was all anonymous. So I do not know who sent me each and every one of these questions. But let me tell y'all, y'all all up in my goddamn business and most of these questions was almost the same thing so in this video i will be answering all of that without further ado i'm just about to get this video started i know you guys do not want to hear me talk the whole intro i have never drank alcohol a day in my life i haven't barely done anything i don't drink i don't smoke do none of that so um just a little disclaimer i do not advise anybody who is under 21 to be doing a true for drink if you want to you better get some juice or you better get some soda and i know y'all probably looking at me like girl you're not even 21 yet but i'm turning 21 in a month and a half so also when i'm about to be drinking this stuff since it is hard alcohol i will not be going anywhere and make sure if you're doing a truth or drink have somebody around that is trustworthy to watch you just in case you get drunk yes i'm not about to go out and be out here drunk i will be in the house just in case i do not react well since it is my first time so far further ado let's just hop right into this video it's already getting hot <laughs> All right, y'all, so I know y'all probably wonder what I'm going to be sipping on in this truth or drink, and I'm going to be drinking on some cup water. If you're located in the DMV, make sure y'all tap in. Y'all already know this is a most popular drink in the DMV. So I'm going to try it. Y'all be drinking it like it's really a hype, and I really hope it is a hype, but it's a strawberry margarita, and I always said once I turn 21, I wanted to try a margarita. So yes, I think this only has like 10% of alcohol, says it in the front, so it's not too much, and I also got me a red cup since it's going to be spicy but let's just hop right into these questions all right so the first question is what music do you listen to i listen to a mixture of r&b i listen to rap i listen to gospel music and i also listen to 90s music ain't nothing like some 90s jam this time don't got nothing on 90s music and i also love me some new orleans bounce music because you know you can twerk it yeah tiki hello i'm the best bitch hello you know, yeah, that's the type of music I like to listen to. I like to get turned so yeah. Um, I recently just started listening to Big Boogie and I was kind of sleeping on him. I had listened to a couple of his songs, which was Pop Out and another famous song that was on TikTok. But I listened to his whole album that he just dropped, Definition of Big Dude. And yeah, Big Boogie, he got it. But I mostly listen to like Memphis rappers because they got it, they got it. All right, so the second question is, how many kids do you want to have? I had answered this in my q and I'll make sure I put that in the description down below so you can go back and look at that video. All right, so the third question is, are you in a relationship? I've seen a lot of people have asked this question, and to answer it, no, I'm not in a relationship, but I am dating to kind of like feel who I want and stuff. You know, I'm still young, so it's nothing wrong with dating, but being in a full committed relationship, no, I don't feel nobody deserves to have that title yet, so I'm just going to continue to date. Before question which is also a most known question is are you a virgin um no not a virgin i guess i can say i'm not because i'm wrong but no nah, i'm not a virgin next question is are you straight bi bi curious or lesbian bi curious is hilarious but um to answer that question um i would say i'm in between bi and bi curious but let me rephrase that. I say I'm bi or bi curious because I would try a girl and I would do things with a girl, but being in a full committed relationship with a female, nah. Because if that girl say something smart or I say something smart, we're going to get to fighting every single day. Now, oh. That's a toss for that shit. And I'm not doing that. So, you know, just to play out with a girl or something, I'll do that. But a relationship, I don't know about that. I'm not marrying a girl. I do not see a girl in my future. I see a man that I'm marrying in my future. So, no. Just playing with a girl. So, I'll just say bye. Bye, curious. All right, y'all. So, the next question is, have you ever kissed a girl? I'm going to drink 
drink on it. Wait a minute. Hold up, this is a big shot. Hold up. <laughs> like I told you, I never drunk before, so I don't know how much you gotta take, but I'm just take this. So cheers if you got your drink. taste to it but it's good and yeah i'm just gonna drink on that next question what's the freakiest thing you ever did i know i said i'm gonna be putting my business out but not too much not too much of that so i'm gonna take a shot on that one as well not too fucking much that's telling too much of my business this question is have you ever cheated or got cheated on so many people ask this question and I don't know why I'm just like do I look like a cheater y'all do I really look like a cheater I got one say but I just asked have you ever cheated on the ex um have you ever cheated name the person that you cheated on have you ever cheated on someone name the ex name this person name this that person have I ever cheated no you guys that's the answer to the question. I have never cheated on nobody that was with. Even though I technically only been in one real committed relationship, but no, I don't cheat. But when I'm single, that's a different thing. I'm a player. Oh. I'm in a relationship. No, I don't cheat. I don't see the point in cheating. If you want to cheat, you might as well just break up with that person. I don't get the point of cheating. But the other one was, have you ever got cheated on? Of course. I think everybody in this world has got cheated on. Yeah, I got you on. Next question. Next one is, if I asked you on a date, where would you take me? Excuse me? Hold on, let me read that again. If I asked you on a date, where would you take me? Do I look like I take people out on dates? That I don't know for the first time? I don't know who wrote this. I don't know if it was a girl who asked this or a dude, but whoever it is, if you think about taking me on a date, yes, me, because I'm not taking you nowhere on the first date. You better rethink that question, because I'm never taking nobody on the first date. You're going to take me on the first date always. You know, it's okay if we dating or in a relationship and I take you out on a date a couple times, but the very first date, oh no, nah, baby, the dude or the girl will have to take me out first. I'm not taking nobody on the day and they came to approach me first. So. Oh, but especially a dude, a dude not finna come up to me and ask me to take him out on a date. So this goes for mostly for my guys. You ain't going nowhere, okay? Next question is, do you like to give or receive? Meaning, head-wise, if y'all over 18, that means, do you like giving here or do you like receiving here? So I'm gonna drink to that as well. I'm not answering that. Nah, that's too much cause ain't nobody in my DM finna be coming and talking about some can you give me a blowjob? Nah. I don't do that over here, baby. Hey, okay, the next question is how many bodies you got? If I say the number, y'all probably not gonna believe me. Because when I do tell people my body count, they don't believe that number at all. So I'm just gonna drink to that. And I kinda understand why y'all wouldn't believe the number. I know a lot of y'all out here be hoeing. So y'all won't understand a person that don't hoe around and don't got as many bodies as y'all got. Y'all be having over 15 bodies and y'all be like, 21. I think y'all forget them soul ties go crazy. That's why y'all be acting a fool in this world. Yeah, I'm gonna drink on that too. Okay, so next question is, is personality or looks more important to you? This is a good question. Um, I would say personality, but it's also looks at the same time. I can't date someone who I'm not attracted to. It's not gonna make me feel like I'm being genuine in a relationship. So, um, let's say for example, I had a dude that was like, all right, look, he wasn't really my type, but his personality was wrong. And he meet like everything I want in a man, like the requirements. I would take him. It's not many men out here 
that you can really find as your dream man. So if my dream man is just a person that's all right looking and that person I see is A1, then yeah, I'll take a look. If he like drop dead, not so good looking, I don't really like to call people ugly, but if he's not my type, because you always somebody type in this world, never forget that. But personally, he's not my type, I wouldn't take him even if he had a good personality. I also want to be attracted to you. So yeah, if you are right looking at your personality hit, yeah, I'm going to take you, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next one is, if you post this, your followers should follow me and has his at name. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. What's up, Elijah? How you doing? If you watch this video, I hope all is well. That's my dog. I've known him for a long time. Make sure y'all follow him. He also do music too, so check that out as well. But what's up, Elijah? Next one is, what do you expect in a relationship? Okay, so the things that I expect in a relationship, I'm going to keep it short because y'all know once I get to talking, I'm going to get to preaching forever. I expect communication, somebody I can have great communication with, someone I can trust. Even though you can't fully trust them 100% of the world, I want to at least trust you at least 60% that I know you're not going to be telling lies to me or trying to set me up or anything like that. I want to do who knows how to spoil his woman, who knows how to treat her, and also someone who has a genuine bond with their family. If it's not their whole family, just like your mom or your dad i'm okay with that or if you don't have a dad in your life since so many people in our generation don't have a father if you just have a mom or sisters that you're really close to that would turn me on because you always know how a man is if you see how he treat his family if he treat his family bad he obviously gonna treat you bad because if he don't have no morals how he talked to his mom he not gonna care what he said to you so yeah that's also another thing and the reason i said god that spoils me is most of y'all be thinking y'all can bag a female and don't do nothing for her y'all just want to get straight in her pants and that is not the case at all damn it's getting hot it, that is not the case at all to just date somebody to get her pants you gotta at least do something for her and if you're not the type to be breaking bread or be taking me out on dates or you expect me to do 50 50 or you want me to go half on this you want me to go half on that no i'm not the girl for you so you better just keep it moving i want a dude who won't care like to spoil me or be feeling like it's a problem and also I don't want him to throw that in my face after what he done for me so yeah and then I also want to say someone of course who has emotion who got things going on for himself he don't gotta be you know like a college student or like a real rich millionaire or anything but as long as you got a decent job that pays well and as long as you know you're doing something in your life I would take you and yeah that's pretty much it but you definitely gotta have something going on for yourself I I've known a lot of dudes who would try to talk to me and things that I was doing they would be jealous of because they wasn't doing something within themselves. So I want somebody that we both can motivate each other together and it don't have to feel like that person hating on me. I don't hate on nobody. I'm not going to expect to be dating a dude that don't do nothing and he expect me to keep sending him money every single day. Or he be like, girl, you want all the money or he won't be expecting me to take care of him. I'm not your mama. I'm your girl. Y'all boys. Yeah, y'all need to learn that. Y'all need to take notes. All right, so the next question is, when was the last time you kissed someone and named them? See, it's getting, it's getting hot in now. It's getting hot. Y'all trying to get me caught up with that question. Y'all said name them. I probably would have said, when was the last time I kissed someone or the initial, but y'all said say the whole name. Yeah, I'm not going to get caught up. So cheers to this. I'm going to drink to that. So the next question is, what's some toxic traits you have? Okay, so I'm not really toxic, and I don't know what y'all mean. Do y'all mean this in a friendship in a relationship? But friendship-wise, I would say my toxic trait is making sure everybody be at the top always and like going on them if they not doing enough since i am a person that's trying to get somewhere and is trying to be at my best i want my friends to be at their best as well so i feel that's my toxic trait if they're not doing enough i would kind of like go off on them and be like what are you scared for you need to do this you need to do that you need to stop procrastinating and holding yourself back and i know that is a big issue that i have to fix within myself I know, like I just said earlier, a lot of people is not going to be praying on my success and going to be trying to make sure I'm good and support me. So I feel I shouldn't be so worried about what my friends do as long as I'm doing well 
then that's all that matters since you always gotta think about yourself first always you that comes first but i don't know it's just something with me i want my friends to eat as well i don't want to just eat at the table i want all my friends to be at the table eating right along with me which i feel can't everybody eat at your table you gotta let them go you gotta feed them up long handle spoon they don't want to go somewhere just deal with them from a distance if you try to go somewhere go where you gotta go just be trying to wait on my friends to get somewhere so we can be up together but you know not everybody gonna want you to be at the top basically that's all i'm gonna say and relationship wise i would say i like to cuss my dudes out sometimes wait a like, minute if i don't get my way or if i get an answer that i wasn't expecting or if i feel like you lied to me or just dancing around or questioning something i will cuss you out and i will hurt your feelings so yeah that is a toxic trait that i do have that i do need to fix within myself and i used to be an overthinker but i'm not an overthinker no more dudes gonna do what they want to do half of them ain't shit anyways to be honest with you so whatever they do i shouldn't be tripping off of it i should just continue to do what i do level up and don't care what a nigga is doing because if i focus on what a nigga is doing i would be crying all goddamn day so yes those are my toxic traits the next one is who's your favorite ex why y'all doing this to me i would say who my favorite ex is but Y'all gonna have some people crying once they see this video. Y'all really gonna have someone bawling their they eyes out after they see this. But I will say the initial of my favorite ex, I'm not gonna say his name, but the initial of my favorite ex, even though I only have wrong relationships, so I guess that's my favorite ex. So far, he's still my favorite, even dating. Cause ain't nobody top him yet, but my favorite ex, his name, I mean, his initial starts with a T. Next one is, what's your biggest insecurity? Uh, my biggest insecurity for myself is some parts of my body. I don't like that I have a huge chest. I want to get a breast reduction. But yeah, I guess I'll say that's my biggest insecurity within me. Everything else, I feel like my face card never declines. And I feel like I'm so beautiful and I definitely love myself. But that's one of my biggest insecurities. My back be killing me. And y'all said when y'all pregnant, y'all backs be killing y'all more. So I hope before I get pregnant, I have a breast reduction. I can't deal with carrying a baby and they're also my big old breast. And they get bigger because of the milk. Nah, see, that's not gonna work. But yeah, I'll just say having a big chest is my biggest insecurity in my body. Next one is, what's your biggest turn-ons? My biggest turn-ons is a dude that smells good. Anybody, like a dude or girl that smells fresh. I don't want to deal with nobody who got stank breath, their body stank I don't think nobody want to deal with that. If you like funk, uh, kudos to you, but I don't. And um, what else I like? I like... A dude that's like real tall and muscular and that looks like a grown man. Some of y'all dudes, y'all be looking so young and we be the same age, but y'all be looking like little boys. I'm like, either I look old or develop faster than them or y'all just look like some kids. But yes, I love me a tall, muscular man. Um, my turn on also is a dude that hypes me up. That be like that knows that I'm a boss girl and be me up of course uh the next one i'm trying to think because my brain is not thinking i think i'm getting buzzed out right now but the uh the other turn on i'll say is him rubbing on my thigh i like that uh i like feet rubs back rubs i like other type of rubs but i can't say too much um yeah those are like my turn ones. And the dude that works hard. I love to get a text or a call. He'd be like, baby, I'm gonna talk to you later. I'm about to go to work and I'll come back to you. And if you need some dinner, I'm gonna send you some dinner money. If you need anything, I'm gonna spoil you. Whatever you need, I'm gonna give it right to you. That's my turn one right there. So yeah, I can't really think of anything else. I love hugs too and cuddles. So yeah, that's my turn. I'm not gonna say too much. Next one is who you trying to get with? know who asked this question uh yeah because when i talk to them they always ask that question so uh i'm gonna drink to that 
Next one, what's your best drink slash high story? I've never been drunk a day in my life, never been high a day in my life, and yeah, I don't have no story about that, but if I ever do have a story, I'll probably give y'all an updated story that would be recent, but no, nah, I don't smoke or drink like I said in the beginning of this video, so I don't have none. The next question is, have you ever did anything sexual in public? Y'all is really in my business. Why is y'all in my business so much? Why is y'all in my business? I noticed some questions y'all was asking, it was kind of too much. I'm like, I don't know if this a dude or girl asking this, but some of y'all was getting real disrespectful. I don't, I don't talk about like that, but it was anonymous, so I don't know who to cuss out who, and it don't matter anyways. So, but yeah, y'all was disrespectful, but I'm about to drink to this. Ooh. Next one is, have you ever gotten your ass ate before, or do you ever want your ass ate? See that one right there, that's kind of disrespectful you didn't come at a girl asking that. But I guess it's called a spicy, dirty, true for drink. But um, I'm gonna drink that. I'm not saying too many things sexual, so drink, drink to that today. Next one is, would you ever have a quickie in public? I feel like doing a quickie in public it's kind of nasty. I'm not judging nobody. I know a lot of people who have done this. But me, I don't know. I don't want to be in the bed. Like, I want to be in my own comfort doing something. And I don't feel like it's actually love doing it in public and it's a quickie. Like, no. That's like lower my standards doing a quickie in public. So, no. No. And I won't say, oh, I'll never do it. Never say never. But no. I don't see myself doing no quickie. I like to, I like to have love, like, I'm a very loving person, so why do I want to do a quickie with someone? That just sound like I'm a sneaky link and you just trying to get me out the goddamn way. No, I'm not doing that. This one is, what happened in your last relationship and why didn't it work out? <sighs> I'm glad y'all asked this why I'm healed. I'm most definitely healed from that situation. It took me a long time to heal from that relationship since it was my first time doing many things with this person but um what happened uh i'm not gonna bash him anything because one he was never a disrespectful dude he always knew how to treat me he always knew how to respect me and stuff uh so i'm not gonna bash him in his video but i will basically say either we was too young and it was like at the wrong time or I wasn't really as mature or he wasn't really as mature. I feel like we both wasn't mature. I feel one, we didn't have enough communication. We didn't really communicate about things. And remember I said my toxic trait is cussing people out. So instead like I would kind of cuss, cuss him out when something was wrong with me instead of actually talking and being mature about it. And um, two, I don't feel like he was really ready for a commitment. And he has been through a lot in like his other relationships why i feel he couldn't really do right in this one he didn't really know how to treat a female that wasn't like the other females he dealt with meaning they would dog him out they would do really wrong things to him and i wasn't the type like that i actually felt like i treated him the best i could treat him and i always question myself like what happened and stuff like that but um yeah i just feel like that was the reason why and I don't know if it was like right person, wrong timing or what, but if we get together in the future, it would have to be, you know, we both change our, our end and we have like a clear understanding about everything that made it fail in the previous times we tried. Cause we tried at least two or three times to get back together and it just never would work out. So um, yeah, that's basically what happened. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to really say too much with it. So, yeah, next question. What's a secret you never told anyone? What's a secret you never told anyone? Honestly, it's a secret. And I, if I didn't tell anyone, that's obviously I don't want the whole world to know. So, I'm going to just drink that. Because that question didn't make sense. What's a secret you never told anyone? Honestly, if I didn't tell anyone, I would want nobody to know. So... We gon' drink on that.
Next one is say the name of the person you had sex with, you last had sex with. Uh, I can say it. No, I'm not gonna say his name. So, do I have to half drink to that? I guess. Because I don't want to say his full name. But, um, his name started with a T. Not too much, not too much. Alright, y'all, so this is my very last question. I didn't even know it was my last question. I didn't even know I went through it so fast. But the last one is Is it true you took someone man? Who the hell asked this? I don't know if it was somebody, a girl, and they was insecure, and they feel uh, their dude was in my life, so they felt they was in my DM, or they seen messages or something, they felt like I took their man, or what. But as I know of, no, I never took nobody man. Um, I'm not even the type to bring up a happy home. I know a lot of people out here that's like that, but I don't like to bring up nobody happy home. I will always feel like, God was putting that block and it's gonna be spent right back on me and somebody gonna take my man. No, I never I never took nobody man dead in my life. But I'm still like concerned why so many of y'all ask have I ever cheated? Can y'all really comment that down below? Do I look like a cheater? I mean, hey. No, I never cheated and I never took nobody man. I'm not the type to bring up a happy home. Oh, I bring up a happy home. No. One more thing I forgot to ask. Somebody has said you're really attractive. I thought that was so sweet, even though that wasn't a question, but I really do appreciate whoever said this. So, hugs kiss to you. I'm sure you are beautiful as well. So, let's get back to the video. All right, y'all. This concludes the very end of my video. I can kind of feel the alcohol getting in me a little bit. I do feel a little bit buzzed out and kind of weak, like I'm barely going to be walking, and I am kind of talking a lot. And, getting amped up and turned but yes that was all of the questions i had today and like i said i will be doing a part two once i'm officially 21 and i can try like a harder drink than cup water since it doesn't have that many that much alcohol in it so yes if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below if this was a spicy truthful drink i hope y'all enjoyed it this was actually lit i'm definitely gonna do more videos like this in the future and i hope i was able to answer y'all questions since y'all so goddamn nosy but um yeah that was it for the video i'm about to rest now and i'm about to edit this video my phone is going dead so yes hope y'all enjoy i love y'all so much and stay tuned for the rest of the content i'll have hold up let me let me give y'all like a big drink before i end this video that's not enough hold up Okay, y'all ready? Grab y'all drinks, grab y'all drinks, grab y'all drinks. I want to tell us to everybody. Tell us to having a wonderful support group and dream with love. Oh, it's first one Nice to tell us, yeah. Okay. Ah. Love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video.